Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, April the 1st, 2024, and this is episode 4,289. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Christ Arose. Stay tuned. Christ arose. Now, you know that April 1st is April Fool's Day, right? <laughs> if I just, I'm going to share some thoughts with you today and, and some words about a, a really great hymn. But, you know, yesterday was Easter and today is April Fool's Day. I want to let you know that Christ arose, his resurrection is not an April Fool's thing. He arose. He arose and he lives today and he's coming back again. Now, there was a hymn that I learned to sing when I was young and I'm 73 years old. Let me tell you a little bit about Robert Lowry. Now, Robert Lowry was born in Philadelphia on March 12, 1826. His fondness for music was exhibited in his earliest years. As a child, he amused himself with the various musical instruments that came into his hands. At the age of 17, he joined the First Baptist Church of Philadelphia and soon became an active worker in the Sunday school as a teacher. At the age of 22, he gave himself to the work of ministry. He entered the work of ministry. He was a pastor at Westchester, Pennsylvania uh, from 1851 to 1858, New York City, 1859 to 1861, Brooklyn, 1861 to 1869, Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, And he was just an incredible musician, incredible pastor. But he wrote a song called Christ Arose in 1874. I love this song. I shared it on social media. I shared it with some of our viewers that that I serve as a host team leader with Life Church on YouTube. And I just love uh, the, the, the whole song, the verses. Now, it's kind of interesting. These verses were sung at a little slower pace. And then the refrain, the chorus, would be, you know, would be faster. And so I'm going to share a little bit of that with you. And I'm I'm actually going to sing a little bit of it with you. But I just want you to know that today, Monday, April Fool's, first April Fool's Day, that he's alive and he's coming again. So here's verse one. It went like this. Lo, in the grave he lay, Jesus, my Savior, waiting the coming day. Jesus, my Lord. Now that's verse one. Verse two was like this. Vainly they watch his bed. Jesus, my Savior. Vainly they seal the dead. Jesus, my Lord. And then verse 3, death cannot keep its prey, Jesus, my Savior. He tore the bars away, Jesus, my Lord. Now, all those three verses were sung at a slower speed. But then when the chorus comes up, this is how they sang the chorus. 
Up from the grave he arose, with a mighty triumph for his foes. He arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. When I sing that, it brings tears to my eyes. I remember learning that song as a child. Listen, today, no matter what you're going through, whatever you're experiencing through, Christ arose and he lives today and he's coming again. Oh, Father, thank you that Christ arose. Thank you, Lord, for Robert Lowry and other Preachers of the gospel that shared the gospel yesterday and Easter services all over the world. Father, thank you for your coming again. Lord, we look forward to seeing you soon. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, he arose. Have a great Monday till tomorrow morning. This is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.